Hi, Sarah. Good morning. Greetings from Las Vegas. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining me this morning. Talk about your new album, Best Days, and your new single, Get Back Your Fight. I'm very excited for you. Yay, Yay thank you. <laughs> well, your new single, Get Back Your Fight, it began as a demo for your fans, didn't it? But it became something bigger. It did. It was very random. I had my full album all the way completed. And then one day I was just writing songs this past year. I've kind of devoted to teaching myself production and um, at the same time, just turning my camera around and posting on social media my process. And I wrote this song one day and just kind of was my own therapy because I was going through some just anxiety and depression and some heavy things. And I wrote it out and I was completely vulnerable, posted it on my Instagram. And then all of a sudden, just kind of started seeing all these comments and shares and follows. And I'm like, what is happening with this song? <laughs> and um, so then my team was like, we need you to finish this one. So we did. And it's been really cool to see how it's connected with people. Yeah, your message is about empowerment, healing. I mean, the song connected with so many people. Was it overwhelming to you? It was in a good way. I really wasn't expecting that response. Uh, and like I said, it was just kind of so random on the whim one day. I just had written the first verse and the chorus. And so when I saw that it was getting so much response, I realized, oh, I need to write a second verse. And <laughs> and I also didn't think that I could even produce because I had never done that before. Uh, but I just decided, no, I think I'm going to I'm going to finish this one myself, produce it, do all the music myself and write it. And it just felt like I had always wanted to wanted to do something like that. So it felt like a big accomplishment to actually have a song that I just did on my own. And the music video is so visual. Like, tell us the concept behind it. It's very abstract at times. Yes, I have a vision for the music video being kind of two of me, obviously. One being kind of the past old me that was in this dark depression that I spoke about earlier. And also just the me, even today, looking back at that girl being like, you know what, one day, I know you feel lost right now. I know you feel scared and anxious, but one day you are going to get your strength back and your fight back. And I really wanted it to embody this character that was full of strength and color and vibrance. And so we portrayed that in the music video and I'm really proud of it. And your other single, Billboards on Sunset, how do you write a song and uh, with others? How do you collaborate? Is that a special talent or a patience? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a team of people out in Los Angeles that I love to work with. They're kind of family to me. They did most of my record. And so we would just go in every day. And I had a list of titles on my phone. That's kind of my process is I always start with like a title or a concept. And I had this title billboards on sunset because I was staying on sunset Boulevard in LA and I'm like, I don't know what the angle could be with the song, but maybe we could kind of work with it. And, um, they helped me, uh, come up with this idea of what do you expect a billboard on sunset, you know, trying to love someone, but it's never good enough. And so we came out with this super fun, fancy pop song, but it has a little bit of attitude as well. And I'm excited for it everyone to hear it soon. I've always wondered with a recording artist, let's say, get back your fight. How do you cho choose that special track? Because I know you do the song over and over when you record it. But as an artist, what do you look for in that final track that makes the album? Did you say that's the one? For me, it is a feeling. I can't explain it, but I will listen to a song. And if it gives me goosebumps, <laughs> then I'm like, OK, there's something special about it. And if it doesn't, I'm like, ah, maybe we need to rework this one or maybe we need to move on from this song. But uh, there's just a special feeling. Like I said, I can't explain it. You just know when you know that it's a good song. I guess it's probably from just writing songs the last decade, you know, and writing a lot of bad ones. And then you get to the good ones and you're like, okay, this one feels different. This one feels extra special. And also just throwing them out on the internet these days has actually been really helpful because it's a good test for me to see, okay, are people going to connect with this song even before I finish it or release it? And so that's kind of a new strategy that I'm doing as well is just posting 
my brand new songs that I write day of. I'm like, okay, is this going to be something that people like or not? And if it is, then usually I'll finish it. And inspiration for a, for a song could come at any time or any place, doesn't it? For sure. Yes. I'm always <laughs> writing, <laughs> writing on my phone, having my voice, my voice memos is probably, I think it's at 4,000 right now of just melodies that I'll sing when I'm driving or cleaning my, my house or whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, it's always just in the mundane. I'll come up with ideas and songs, always writing something. Always writing. And finally today, interacting with your fans. Are you just social media is such a great way to connect with your fans, isn't it? Yes. I'm so thankful for it. There's been moments where I've complained about social media, <laughs> you know, as an artist, it's like, I've started so long ago and it, it was before the days of social media. So I'm like, okay, now I have to be this, this social media influencer. What is this? You know, but I, I actually have really embraced it this year and just found my thing, which is obviously the music and just putting it out there and being able to see so many people in so many different places, even other countries that are listening to my music that I would have never known otherwise. And it's just been really cool to have that connection and that engagement with my fans. Well, Sarah, congratulations on your new single, Get Back Your Fight, and also Best Days, August 11th. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in Las Vegas. You got to come perform here and uh, we'd love to have you. I love Las Vegas. Thank you so much for having me, Jeff. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.